Good morning, everyone. There's some gunshots going on. Welcome to the south. Uh, gonna go get some metal today somehow. I uh, <laughs> let's show you what my what I did, guys. I could not get that bar from here to here. I could not get it off. It's just so rusty. I sprayed WD-40 and everything. I said, you know what? I want to keep them. Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered, would it? Yeah, it would have, I guess, maybe. But anyways, I just sawzalled it off. I was like, I'll never use it anyway. So, that's what I did, <laughs> did with it. <laughs> took a took a sawzall to it. Alright, let's go find some metal, guys. Uh-oh, I see our first victim. Big sign on it with her name. That's free. And some cords. Good lord. Goodness. Let's turn on our flashers. Because we're kind of out in the road a little bit. Actually, take that. Right. Oh, that's a heavy one too. Let me tell you, it's an oldie. ease somewhere and fix it a little better we're not in the road I got that darn thing in there what the go fix it somewhere real quick Woo! that was heavy I still ain't fixed that I'm easing down here too parking lot this looks like a Christmas tree it's in the box I really don't want to take the box we'll take the box though. we'll do my favor this time let's go down here and fix this stuff We'll check the triple dumpsters. I need a dresser. I could knock them knobs off if I wanted to, but somebody might want that dresser. It's in good shape. All right, we got a microwave. Try to find the cord on it. If it has one. I don't have one. Yeah, it does. We're good now. How does it work? Oh, it's broke. Well, all right. Uh, the whole thing's going. That'll work, I guess. Let's look on this side. Uh, Alright, cool. Wanting a strike out. Look in these drawers or anything. 
sometimes there's coinage no coinage today it's a good dresser though all right yep i could sell the dresser but i don't want to guys somebody else can have it and I promise you somebody will take it. All right. Christmas Tree Bandit. Here we go. This is the time for Christmas Tree Bandit. Strikes again. Piece of one. Let's do them a favor pick up a little bit all right this may be silly but I'm gonna empty the truck off at the scrap yard cuz I gotta go do a scrap pickup I was supposed to already be there but there's nobody <clears throat> there but I ran into all that stuff so we'll go empty that and then drop off that box at the shop and uh go get that pickup it's a pretty big one it might take me a couple trips in this little thing but uh we'll see how much money we can get out of a filing cabinet a microwave and a couple christmas trees in that rack that i had back here but it give us enough gas money for the day or two so i'm kind of curious but filing cabinet's pretty heavy so we might get 20 bucks i'd want to say between 15 and 20 bucks so I'm not going to take apart the microwave, I'm just going to dump it off. I mean, it's full of water and stuff, so just get rid of it real quick. Get that fast nickel real quick. So, Anyways, see you at the scrapyard. Here we are at Cunningham Metals. Oh, yeah, we're going to be... We might get 20. We might get 20. Thumbs up from Chris. Let's let this big truck go. He's got more. He's bigger. <laughs> you imagine that? that dishwasher I brought yesterday and the stuff I brought yesterday nobody's brought nothing since yesterday oh heavy I can have the whole box I can have the piece to my rack. Get rid of this thing. I was gonna save it, but I mean, it's nothing's wrong with it. 
Now there is, it's broke. All right, we're gonna dump that off the storage unit. I kind of like it. Yeah, I might even take that home later. All right, let's go get our 20 bucks. 18, 15 to 20. What's up, Chris? What's up, man? Hold on, one minute, buddy. All right. All right. Almost got 20, $19.60. Not bad for on, the, for on the way here, huh? We'll definitely take it. All right, let's go drop this off. Go pick up some more scrap and make some more money. Well, the yard sale man has vacuum cleaner for me. Uh, some lumber came through during the night. Probably had a lot more out here. Somebody's found this spot. I cut the cord on that and I bet you there was more stuff sitting out here so somebody has found it which is fine and I can't do nothing with the chairs and stuff all right well, get rid of the vacuum at least and it's got a little bit of a cord left I don't know why they didn't cut the whole thing off <clears throat> May have to start doing something a little different. All right, guys, here is the scrap pile. My bro hooked me up. Look, we got, look at this big doggy. Look at this big doggy. He's just a good dog. How'd you get to be such a good dog? Huh? Look, we got a view of the lake. Man, it don't get much better than this. This is the dream. That is right. It is the dream. It'll take me a few trips to get all this in this truck, obviously, but help my buddy out. And I'll get a few dollars. Y'all probably don't want to sit here and watch me load all of it so we'll just get started here we'll get that regulator off there if it has one it does not all right that i see anyway. Truck's full. Truck's full, puppy dog. Can you believe that? Get rid of one of these. A load. They'll let us get rid of one here and there. get got on the next load
perfect. What is it? Huh? What is it? Oh, you're so cute, dog. Those are those chairs right there that are worth millions, puppy dog. Millions. Uh, yeah, that, that's I know. I'm scrapping it. <laughs> I'm scrapping it. Let's cut the cords as we go. You want to? You gonna help me? Set that to the side. We don't want to throw that out of the shred. I don't reckon they want to buy water today, do they? Put that on the back, Jack. Lots of little trinkets, I like it. Good. Oh, left or right? Yeah. That bed frame will have to be taken apart, I think. This is a pinch smack crack o -matic. Build your little sides up. <sighs> oh, is that? Something I definitely want to take apart. Alright, we'll get it in a minute. I want to see if we can. Of course, old coach didn't. Bring his grinder with him. 
looks like we don't need it after all. Be a good day to have a trailer or a, my big big truck. Guess we'll stand that smoker up here. and stuff. Just lay it down. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that one. We'll fit something behind there though. When it stands up straight, there's plenty of stuff here. That's for sure. There's a the motor. I'll put it over there with the good stuff. Because we ain't gonna get all this in one trip. on there. Probably should take it off, but yeah, took it off my hands. A little bitty one. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, filing cabinet. Some extruded aluminum. Looks like it's going to shred today. Maybe. Here, stainless. All right, let's get back to what's next to be. Let's kind of fill some holes. Another big motor. Heck yeah. 
Ja. Well, that's probably should do is. down right here I'll come back for them. Quick turn around. What is? Ooh, copper. Look at that. But that's stainless too. Sorry, watch out, puppy. Pull pump or something. Around those mods. It's aluminum. It's a motor. I keep trying to pick that up for some reason. That one, maybe. Tanned up. Alright. Let's get the fan. Like, 
I think we're just gonna shred this fence. I usually take them apart, but this one I will. Cords down there. Got a pretty decent motor in it though. But... can get this without hitting us in the face. This is a double one. pieces we can find. That goes to the, to the goodie pile. Along with that. Heavy fine there. Oh, God. So. Even though it's cold, <laughs> that's what I think of when I get scrap piles like this.
saw that can fit. bit to get don't we guys so we need to get all we can get right now Let's go look on the back side. See if there's anything we can put up there. A little. I think those are aluminum chairs. These ones are, I think. Let's say look it. There's the trampoline springs. There we go with that. We'll come back and get some more. Maybe three trips. I could get more, but I got a little bit to go. So we made it. They gave me a thumbs up. Four thousand forty is what we went now. We might make. We'll make about forty-five bucks on this load. Can you believe that?
cut the cord on them, but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go get another load. All right. All righty, guys. On that one, we weighed 520 pounds for $44.20. Let's go get that some more of this stuff. All right. There's the second load. Beautiful lake. Only thing I didn't get is trampoline frame. Uh, garage door. I didn't see that. All right, I grabbed it first thing. Opener. Looks like there's some more stuff back there. Some more. One more little trip, half a truckload. But I got the most of it. So got her strapped down pretty good. Found out that everything's pretty good. Use some of these little straps. That's the only one, but it's strapped here. Just kind of hold it in place. Maybe it'll work. I probably should cut a slit in that. But don't catch wind. Alright. I guess this is going to be it for today. I'm not going to... This is all the good stuff and everything, so... I'll just take this to the storage unit, so... I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. You guys have a good one. See you on the next one. You know, I've got all kinds of rotors, cords, ah, good stuff. It was a good stop. All right, guys, you have a good one. See you on the next one. Or right, awesome. Good morning, everybody. I tried to record just now, and this darn GoPro died. The battery was dead. I guess it's this cold zapping it. Uh, I just took in some shred, 500 pounds, uh, for $42. That's uh, out of the last two videos. Just the shred after, you know. So, am I hauling another load here? Make some room in the old storage unit, shop, sh warehouse, <laughs> whatever. I really don't like calling a storage unit because it's really not. It's pretty big. Uh, let's get rid of some more junk. Make some room. I'll uh that's what I'm doing today so y'all can watch got us a little load going on uh, hey look there's old Ralph right there there's a dumpster over there he's getting it uh, yeah just shred so make a little bit of room all right we're back here on that one we had 560 pounds for 47 dollars and 60 cents i'm gonna have to i don't know if i told you that i'm gonna have to get that bar off there it's getting in my way that's why i'm not recording unloading it's, it's a real hassle i have the right socket to fix that but my, i lost my 3h drive attachment and i tried i sprayed it with wd-40 and i tried uh channel locks and that's about all I have with me. I guess I left it at my other truck. So, and my grind, I was like, I'll just take my grinder to it. Guess what? The grinder is at home, too. But I might just really take the grinder to it. Because I ain't going to use it no more. I mean, it's in the way. I ain't going to sell the rack ever, so. Grind that baby off. be a lot easier, won't it? Yeah, that's what I'll do when I get home. All right, let's... I'll in one more load and call it a day. Yeah, that's a, another little load here. I want to get out of the bed frame business. Look at all that room now. Hey, we're getting somewhere. That weight bench, somebody wants it, so I'll take it to them after I drop this off. I think I'm going to call it a day. Go eat lunch with my wife. What do y'all think? I think so. Yeah, I want to get rid of this old thing too. The yard sale man didn't want it, so I ain't gonna try to sell it. I know somebody will buy it. God. 
I'm gonna hold on to too much here, here anymore. So, all right, let's go to Cunningham Meadows. Alrighty, that one weighed 460 pounds uh, for $39.10. So, it is, uh, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go get that weight bench and call it a day. Starting to warm up a little bit. Watch out, look at the jump pile. There's a jump, man. <laughs> Getting that way. Getting some of the stuff I threw out. Good.